Welcome back to another video. So yesterday I went out to the Murray Walker Handicap Road Race. It was my first time ever road racing and I went in E grade. I was the only racer in E grade for this particular race and that is why I'm out here alone. Unfortunately on the second lap I actually did get a flat tyre so I didn't really get to ride in groups at all but I really look forward to going next time for a regular scratch race and I'll get to race within my own grade. The other aspect to look at as well is that because it was a handicap race I was still racing against every other grade although it would all come together on the last lap had the race lasted that long for my tyres. So I'm just going to have a couple of time lapses of some of the more boring sections of the track and then I'm just going to come out of the time lapses to talk about a couple of different spots and show you guys the corners. So coming into the first hairpin here, it was actually one of my favourite bits of the entire track was the corners, being the hairpin, the roundabout, and then the other hairpin down the other end. And I really enjoy cornering just because coming from mountain biking it's one of the most fun things, as you can see here, maintaining 25 k's an hour around the corner. Also leave a comment on what you think of these overlays, they took quite a while to do and I really hope they improved the viewer's experience. So here we get to see one of the other groups going past in just a moment and I believe this was B grade or C grade and it was really good to see how many riders showed up and it was a really great community to kind of join in on for the first time and everyone was really really friendly and the officials were really good. You sign up online and then you can just show up on the day, they give you a race number and then from there you get to just race and it's really good. They normally do this circuit so it's not the same circuit for most races to my knowledge and for E grade it was 40 k's and in this case for this particular race every grade was also doing 40 k's. So just coming into the roundabout here, probably the best corner on the entire track to be honest and just maintaining around 30 k's an hour around it, getting the bike nice and lean over, really, really fun corner. And then you'll see as I exit the corner, this is where everyone gets to park. So they park up on the grass along here, and this is the start-finish stretch. So you go this direction going down it, on the way, kind of like halfway through the lap, or nearing the end of the lap, and you actually come back the other direction as you cross the finish line. So you can see there, the official's tent and some riders waiting to start their race, as they were in higher grades, so for the handicap race, they were actually starting a lap down, even though it was only a four lap race. And I also picked up a small piece of wire along this section of road, which is eventually what caused the puncture that I got on the bike. So if you listen carefully, you may actually be able to hear the ticking of the thing that was in my tire, which is just like a small piece of wire as people come to this road to do burnouts and there was quite a lot of wire and pieces of old tyre on the road. The officials managed to clean up most of it, but there was still some there. Now you'll see I stop here for just a minute, and I was checking over my bike trying to find what the noise was that I could hear. And it turns out I couldn't actually find the source of the noise, even though in the end it presented itself quite easily. I just hadn't checked the front tyre at this stage, and I was more so racing for fun on this particular race. So where I passed the start finish line just at the end of the first lap here, um, you can see the three A grade riders for this race waiting to go. So I believe they left about three minutes after I came past just here, so one lap plus three minutes. And according to their average speeds they would have caught me by the end of the last lap. And the idea being that everyone finishes together and it's a pretty good race. You can also see some riders there on the right passing now, and all the cars here on the left. Coming back up towards the roundabout to then do another lap.
So along here was where I really started to actually think about the noise that was coming from my bike and decided I really wanted to check it out and make sure there was nothing wrong. And you can't see it on the camera here, but I was actually putting my hand on the front tyre to feel if there was anything on it. And I could feel something on it, I presumed it was like a thorn or something. So I saw this stopping bay just up here, thought I'd get off the racetrack, check it out, make sure everything was good to go. Um, and I wasn't sure if it had actually punctured the tube underneath the tyre. So I was like, oh, if it's just in the tyre, maybe I can pull it out and get away with it. But it turns out in this case, when I removed the piece of wire, air just flowed straight out and that meant my race was over pretty much. So I pulled it out just here, you can see my hand on the camera, pulling stuff off. So I was pulling the piece of wire out just to get it out of the tyre, as it's a bit unsafe to have it just spinning around on the tyre, where I could get a flat at any time, it could have gone in further, or it could have flicked up into my eye. So I realised my tyre was flat, and then I decided to jump off the track over here, just quickly walk through these bushes, and then there's a nice footpath slash cycleway that runs the entire length of the course. And then I started the walk back, so I walked about two kilometres back. Normally they have a commissaire car that comes to pick people up if they have a problem. I was a little bit annoyed that my first race had to end so soon, about one and a half laps in. But the racing that I did I really, really enjoyed, and I can't wait to do some more racing like shoulder to shoulder with other races and hopefully move up through the grades over time and it's a great sport to try I think mountain bikers should definitely give both a go both road and off-road so then just here this is the end of the actual A grade race that you'll get to see just now this is all of them coming over the line and you can see the officials here recording the positions of them so one advantage having a flat tyre was that I got to see everyone across the finish line who was in much, much higher grades than me. So this was, the, this was the Murray Walker Memorial Cup, and it was a really good event overall, and I would 100% recommend it. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you'd like to continue to follow my journey on road bikes, feel free to leave a comment with any advice or tips and tricks you may have. See you next one.